Alright, so you wanna get a little nostalgic but not that nostalgic by playing Need for Speed Most Wanted, the 2012 edition. But can I run it in the first place? Well, you came to the right place and that's construction right now. And welcome to Text Play. Hello everyone and that's very loud and today I will once again test out the old but still capable GPU, the Intel HD Graphics 4600. In this video, you'll see how well the GPU performs against the game Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. And if you wanna see the full specification of the test bench, it's below the like button. Anyway, enjoy my rusty driving.
we're done crashing and as you can see the result is missing now even in 720p lowest settings it seems like it can handle the game pretty well at 31 fps average with the 0.1% being at 24 fps and keep in mind that this is with recording good news if you're not a streamer or a youtuber okay. you can get an 18% improvement in fps pretty solid but if you don't prefer the eye candy you of course can turn down the resolution to 800 by 600 for more yeah, fps yeah, to get out of that console like experience but again it's not 16 by 9 so the stretch aspect ratio is pretty weird you like your car white but anyway i gotta say this game still looks decent even in the lowest setting so the verdict is that this game is still very playable especially if you don't mind getting a console like experience for your racing and this game doesn't really need 60 fps anyway right i mean you can still drive very well is not smooth. So what do you think about those FPS? Is it good enough for you? Let me know in the comments. Alright, that's all the notes I got for today. I hope this video can help you understand how well the Intel HD Graphics 4600 performs against this game. So this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching and hit the like button. Don't forget to come back next week for more knowledge about tech and subscribe so you won't miss it. Alright, peace out.